Hello Internet, Zach here, and I'm in a new workspace. I've spent the last three weeks shifting, shuffling, and moving, and getting everything set up. Before I left my old workspace, I was trying to extract Neon and get a video up for you, but that was, yeah, <laughs> that didn't go so well. I'll show you some uh, outtakes from that in uh, just a few moments. Anyway, while it was moving, I set up the Patreon account, because budget limitations have been a major factor in not getting as many videos out as I'd like to, so... If any of you out there in internet land would like to throw me a few coins and help me make videos, you'll get to see all my videos a day early if you do that. So, um, I do have another official element video coming up in the next couple of days. I'll show you some sneak preview stuff in just a moment. So, Thank you, my 113 subscribers, for sticking around and being patient with me while I've been, well, absent from the internet. Anyway, uh, here are the clips I promised you. Okay, please tell me this thing still works. Crap. It doesn't still work. There's neon in there, but it's in floor. And it's gone. That's blowing. That isn't. Okay, aside from moving, I've also been sorting out some memory modules that uh, were given to me by an ex-roommate. So I have an 8 meg module, a 16, a whole bunch of 32s, a triplet of 64s, and a 512. So Everything smaller than 64 megs I'm going to be trimming and extracting the gold from. And that's going to be an upcoming element video. I already practiced a little bit and managed to get some gold fingers off. Over here I have some, it should be neodymium chloride, but in the process of drying it out it may have hydrolyzed to neodymium oxychloride. And it looks like the camera's kind of picking up a pinkish color. If I switch the lighting to fluorescent lighting... Well, what I can see with my eyes when I uh, look at this under incandescent lighting is it's pale pink, and under fluorescent lighting it's almost pure white. So I've been working on that, uh, trying to extract neodymium from some magnets, and I got as far as that. So we'll see if I can uh, reduce that down to the metal.